Believe it or not, only one of these people is actually a man. Find out tonight on Dog Eat Dog. Welcome to Dog Eat Dog. Any one of our contestants could win $25,000 tonight. But to do so, they have to exploit everything they know about their opponents. Yesterday, we sent them away to camp where they had a chance to see each other in action. It's kind of like getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. Go! I don't think that the group knows how intelligent I really am. None of them know yet that I got a 4.0 all through high school, and they also don't know that I was on the dean's list for two years in college. You're in the zone, let's go. Oh, winning is very important to me. Yeah, well, you know, 25G, you can't beat that. Am I ready? I just think, from what I've seen with them, I think that I have it. I don't have a doubt in my mind that I'm not gonna win tomorrow, honestly. Climb up and hang from that, like, like, a, like a sloth. Where's I don't mess thing? around when, it, when I get pushed to my point, I'm ready to come with it. I'm bringing 100% and just take out anyone who's in my way. It takes time Great, to yeah. pray. It's like the Beverly Hillbillies gone, gone mad, you know? When, Cause I'm on TV. You don't do that when you're in Kentucky. You don't do that. Come to me! <laughs> All these people, they just want to pay bills and I guarantee that I have, I have a stronger urge to take the money that I could win and spin it fruitlessly. Woo. Welcome to the show, everyone. Here's how the game works. In each round, I'll show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to beat the challenge or end up in the dog pound. However, if you win, then it's time for revenge because you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's get started. Tonight's first challenge is a lot of fun. It's called Over and Under, and it's located in our tank. One of you is gonna have to take a ride on our water wheel and go jumping for flags. Who here doesn't really know their way around? It's time to choose the loser. Okay, who's going to the tank? Let's find out who you've chosen. First up is gonna be Nicole. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm not joking I'm around with you. Down. Let's see. Matt voted for you, Rose voted for you, and Jamal voted for you. Matt, why don't you tell Nicole why she's gonna be taking on the water wheel? Well, yesterday Nicole had a little bit of trouble with the cargo net, and I see there's a cargo net on there, so her arms are a little bit smaller, and she doesn't seem like to have the upper body strength that quite everyone so else strong. has. So sure. I don't quite know what she's gonna do on that wheel over there, but. There's got to be something holding on to. She's a tough competitor, and I don't really need her around right now. All right, so you're going to try and get her off to the dog pound early? Yeah. All right, Nicole, it's time to suit you up. Let's take a walk to the tank. Yeah, Nicole. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in front of Over and Under. You're first up tonight, Nicole, and here's your challenge. We're gonna put you in the water on that side of the tank. You're gonna swim out to our water wheel and grab onto the cargo nets. Take a ride to the top. When you get to the top, get up on your feet and jump for those flags. Now, you can only jump for one flag at a time. To get another flag, you have to grab back onto the cargo nets, take a ride underwater, and back to the other side. Grab all five flags, within two minutes and stay out of the dog pound. Got it? Got it. All right, go ahead and get into your bathing suit. It is fun, that's a good attitude. Come on, Nicole, you can do it. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and get into the tank. Just have a seat on the lower level, I'll give you a countdown and let you know when to begin. Nicole, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Thumbs up. All right, let's put two minutes on the net zero countdown clock and start the water wheel. Three, two, one, go! There she is, holding on, up the first time. Here she goes, taking a ride underwater. Up and around the other side. Up on your feet! Oh! So 
she goes. Up on the feet. Up, up. You're going to have to jump out farther than that, Nicole. Here she comes around the other side. Hold on. It was hard to jump out far yeah. enough to get the flag, huh? Yeah, it's hard to pull myself up to jump. Definitely. To get the flag. Definitely takes a lot of strength. That was a great effort, Nicole. Unfortunately, you're off to the dog pound. Give her a big round of applause. Let's hear a challenge. Nicole wasn't quite fast enough to get up on her feet and grab those flags. Let's find out who's going to be joining her in the dog pound. Next up is Swing Rings, and it's located all the way up there. One of you is going to have to work your way across that course of rings and grab the dog eat dog flag at the end. Someone here can't hang. It's time to choose the loser. Someone's going to have to give us a little Tarzan action when we come back. 